Hello students. Today in the third part of chapter number 11 force and pressure we will discuss and try to understand about the pressure. To understand it let us take an example. There are two boys Raj and Rahul. Both have to insert an iron nail into a wooden plank. Raj is trying to insert it from its pointed end whereas Rahul is trying to insert the nail from its head. Both are applying the same force. Then also Raj succeeded to insert whereas Rahul didn't. Why? Because he was using the pointed side of the nail means the area of because Raj was using the pointed side. It means though the force is force applied by both of them were same the area played an important role. It means there is a quantity which relates both force and area and that quantity is known as pressure. So pressure is defined as the force acting on a unit area of a surface and mathematically it can be written as pressure is equals to force upon area. From this equation we can say that if the area is if the area is less the pressure would be more and if the area increases if the area increases the pressure decreases we will see few examples which will help us to understand this concept okay uh, the first example is we know that it is easier to push a nail into wooden plank by its pointed end because the pressure is more in this case as uh, the the area of contact between the point and the wooden plank is very less the next example that we can take is of sharp knife we know that it is easier to cut a vegetable from the sharp side from the sh from the sharp side of the knife why because the area is less and hence the pressure on the vegetable is more similarly the shoulder bags which have a thick or the broad straps why it is so to reduce the pressure on the shoulder because of the thick straps the area of contact with the shoulder increases and that reduces the pressure on our shoulder here in a figure we can see that that a coolie is that the coolie has kept a red color cloth on his head can you find out the answer why he has done so if you get the answer just comment in the comment box and try to find few more such examples that relates the force and area and you can also type that in the comment box. So up till now we had discussed about the force and area or the pressure exerted by a solid object on the solid object. Now let us discuss does liquids also exert pressure? Yes, even liquids exert pressure. The first point is liquids exert pressure on the bottom of the container. To understand this let us see the first figure in this we can see two cylindrical tubes in which the water is filled up to different different heights here we can see that water is filled up to this height and here water is filled up to this height and at bottom of both the tubes uh, a balloon or a rubber sheet can be attached and we can see that on the first tube the for the first tube the bulging of rubber is less whereas for the second tube the bulging of rubber is more why is it so there might be relation with the height of the water filled in the cylindrical tube it means we can say that it depends upon the height of the liquid column more will be the height more will be the pressure at the bottom 
also from the second figure we can see that all the water filled in this different different uh, vessels of different shapes are at same height but then also the pressure at this point that is point a point b point c point d and point e is same it shows that the pressure exerted at the bottom doesn't depends on the shape of the vessel in which water is kept either it is cylindrical either it is cubical it is cuboidal or conical it doesn't depends it only depends on the height of the liquid column okay now let us discuss the second point it is given that liquid exerts pressure on the walls of container to understand this let us see an example in this figure it can be seen that a balloon has been fixed on the side wall of this plastic bottle and and we can see that it is bulging why it is bulging if it is bulging it means this water is applying pressure on this balloon which is fixed at the side so it shows that yes liquid also exerts pressure on the walls of container it means liquid can exert pressure on bottom as well as on the container oh, sorry on the side wall the third point is liquid exerts equal pressure at the same height just now we had discussed that it increases with the height more will be the height of the water column more will be the pressure at the bottom okay uh, let's in in this figure we can see if suppose on a bottle if we will make holes at same at same height two three holes at same height and that what that bottle is filled with water then water streams will come out from all the holes and we can see that that this this distance of uh, water jets from the uh, from the bottle are same on all the sides. they are almost same on all the sides and this shows that pressure exerted on all these holes at same height is equal okay now we can now the next point is as a depth increases pressure also increases to understand this let us see the next figure here we can see there are three holes this is the first hole this is the second hole and this is the third hole in this type uh, we can see that from the first hole the water coming out is falling near to the near to this cylindrical tube whereas from second hole it is falling a little bit far from the previous one and from the third hole it is it is falling even far from the compared to the first and second it shows that the pressure is high for the third hole and for the second hole it is less than the third one and for the first hole it is minimum means as we will move down to the depth the pressure will be more so it shows that as the depth increases pressure also increases you might have seen fountains of water coming out from the leaking joints or holes in pipes of supplying water why it is so it is because the pressure exert the pressure is exerted by water on the walls of the pipe now here few questions for you 